What arcanists regard to be more important is the knowledge from another pathway, which is often known as Gnosis. Compared with mankind's knowledge gained from reasoning, what are the features of Gnosis? Sonetto. Miss, the features of Gnosis are... 1. It cannot be verified by an independent third party, and 2. It is impossible to be comprehended through reasoning. Exactly. And that's also one of the reasons that the knowledge of the study of Arcanum is hard to be accepted by the academic world. The academic research is required to be open to the public and can pass the independent tests. But, the unpredictability of Arcanum will lead to the arcane researches to methodological agnosticism. Thus, all the trainings and the scientific stabilizing appliances that the school provided for you is to overcome the instability of your arcane skill, in order to ensure the peace and stability of the human world. May the peace be with us! <sighs> oh, j'ai presque été assez rapide pour répondre à cette question. Comment elle? Comment elle a pu être si rapide? Next question. After the fall of the Roman Empire, the number of arcanists, along with the related literature, had reduced correspondingly. Who can tell us the history of that time in brief? Miss! Miss! I... I... Miss! I know this one! Senetto. As the Roman Empire declined, some arcanists were tempted by the irrational side of their nature and applied magia naturalis in warfare and disputes over interests, which irritated the church and other powers of religion. At that time, people in Europe widely considered arcanum to be the paganism that collaborates with the demons, hence the trials against arcanists. In response, arcanists struck back fiercely. However, due to their spontaneous character and the unpredictability of their whereabouts, their communication was unsuccessful during the fight. Both sides struggled in repeated battles. In the end, mankind, jointly led by both their religious and secular leaders, prevailed. Huh? It's not possible! It's not what she said, grandfather! Miss, she's wrong! I know! I know the right answer! All right. Give it a try, Matilda. For what I know, it wasn't Arcanus who started the war. The attack on Constantinople was waged by lordships in Western Europe to ransack the capital for resources and the literature of Arcanum. The nursery rhyme my grandpa sang for me tells me all about it. And long ago, Arcanus weren't called by this name. They were once gifted philosophers, diviners, or doctors, until they were put on the labels of pagans, freaks, and witches, and isolated by their people. They were entirely forgotten. The next time people saw them, they had this new name, Arcanists. Inspiring. Do you remember its name? How about the melody? Could you present several lines for the class? Let me think. It was like... Uh, hmm, hmm, that's not it. Oh, that's weird. I... I can't remember it. You'll feel confident enough to answer the question. Shame on you, little thing. I was even humming the horn last night. It's just a... <laughs> Sit down, please, Matilda. Sonetto is correct. Matilda, you have just transferred here. It may take you some time to get used to our curriculum. A rhyme can be used in studying folklore, but it's still different from a formal historical intelligence. <sighs> Class, 
class. Please turn to the last question of the test. After the Ottoman Empire seized control over Constantinople, Georgius Gemistos, a member of our Sharon commune, also an arcanist and philosopher of the Roman Empire, traveled to Florence. He brought one classical literature of ancient theurgy into the city, which sparked discussion and later brought about the annual humanist gathering, the Chaldea Conference, where the study of Arcanum was debated over its use for mankind development. Who knows the name of his work brought by Gemistos? Miss! Me! Me! Miss! Please! I know this word! I do know! Hmm. Verton, do you know the answer to this question? Verton? Verton, she is absent again. Miss, I know the answer! It is Caladia Oracles! My back. Hot. Wanna watch the aerial stunt? I can't agree more. Right wing. A little trick. A ravishing rainbow. Be careful, young man. Uh. <laughs> Haven't you eaten? Affirmative. Oh, affirmative. A little trick. An apple a day keeps the an apple a day keeps the doctor away. Wanna watch the aerial stunts? I saw it shot. Oh, I can't agree more. A little trick. Serve caro mi fu cole. I would like to express my deepest regret for the accidents. No. Welcome to Nihility, Ms. Too Many Questions. A group of prop... Just take another route. Sonato. Come here. Is my book wall still there? She didn't push it down, right? 
She didn't. <sighs> she is nice. Unlike the bad potion instructor who turned my books into a puddle of mud. Oh, right. Guess what I found today? Here, give me your hand. Look, the foreteller of the brain, the Hylorborea. I caught it through the school's front gate. I even got stung by the electric fence when I took my hands back. It keeps croaking in my pocket. Look, it's still raining outside. Aren't you aware that you've been given a timeout, Miss Burton? Huh? I don't understand why you always skip classes. You know that we are not supposed to pay too much attention to affairs outside the school. Please, don't bring me these pebbles and frogs anymore. These are... meaningless. We are born to die martyrs. Why? Just because the student handbook says so? That's right. I don't like the handbook. It smells like those stinky socks in the attic. Sonato, aren't you really curious about what is outside the school? You were also in that parade outside the school before. The pebbles, the frogs, the attic with stinky socks. They're just a teeny tiny part of the whole world. I once met a girl who came to our school. Please, please stop. These are very dangerous things. The student handbook is protecting us. It is protecting us from harm and regrets. As the instructors have told us, to live is to lose things around us until the day we lose life itself to death. That's why we should only focus on the supreme missions. Until the day we lose life itself. To death. Now it's coming, my lord. What? Don't forget my heart. Oh. Failed. Try the next dream. The artificial sonambulism therapy may not work on her, Mesmer. Hmm? You're here, Madam Z. All patients who have the symptoms of stress disorder need to receive treatments in the rehabilitation center. Her trauma level was assessed as a type 2. I needed to take responsibility for her health. Back in the year when she became the timekeeper, she didn't receive any treatment. I know her well. She has enough power in her to make it through. I'm just following orders, madam. It is the committee's direct order to treat Fairton. If you have anything to say, convince the vice president first. <sighs> she hasn't had any food for days. Gave her a glucose injection. I have a meeting later, so if you would excuse me. I did expect you would have learned your lesson in such a long time. Timekeeper. No. I'm more used to calling you Fairton. I have changed. Have you? Are you still suffering from those pointless things? The wind is most comfortable now. Let's take off. Don't be in and out. You're bugging me.
the aerial stunts? I believe in you. Don't blink! to express my deepest regret for the accidents. Hello, this is Aneto, the Chief Assistant of the Foundation's Timekeeper. My employee number is SF3800000080110 y Could you please register a visit to Ward 1525 for me? Please present your ID. Hold that crystal with your right hand until the color changes. Oh, okay. What is the shape of the sun? A sphere or a cube? A sphere. Which is edible? Rubber, cabbage, or carbuncle? Cabbage. Does the rain come down from the sky or the other way around? Can be both. You're good to go. Take these materials with you. The visitor guide is between the second and third page. Go in from the left, turn right twice, and take the lift. Keep walking and you will see the ward. I see. Thank you. Is there anything else I should know? Just leave the number out next time. Will you? seem busy here. The registration is also more rigorous than it was before. I wonder if this is because of the storm. Turn right again. Hmm? But there's only one way and it goes left. Did I miss any crossings? things. Mm hmm? So, here is a junction to the right. Thank you. 
disoriented patient, or a mana spy, or... I can't get away from them. And I will not bring danger to the timekeeper. I will catch this person. The Rehabilitation Center is established to provide effective medical services and trainings to the patients for their bodily functions to be restored. This center is managed by Laplace Scientific Computing Center. If you have any special requirements or have encountered any suspicious persons, please move to the ground floor lobby for help. If you are distant from the lobby, please press the yellow button next to the fire hose cabinets. The security on your floor will come to assist shortly. They're here. I don't see any cabinets. That's fine. If no help or assistance has come to you in time, you may take action to defend yourself. A free wake-up procedure will be administered on any unresponsive persons, if any. Good. Just what I need. The sanitary trolley is parked at the next turn. I've left the biggest garbage bag on it. Speak up! Why are you following me? Aww. Stop! You're not getting away! Whoever you are, may the peace be with us! Shall I ask the enemy for their tactics? Hmm. There will be some differences. Us. Where's Paul? Does he sh I hear Fine. something. Don't be so furious. Hmm. Right wing. So loud. Wanna watch the aerial stun? Fine. Agents have guns. It's called Don't blink. A little trick. Retreat! Oh, what? <laughs> Shh. I, I don't believe in you. Wanna watch the aerial stunts? Hmm. Sempre caro mi fu questa regola. Right wing. My sword shot. I believe in you. My sword shot. Sempre caro mi fu questa regola. So long lives this, and this gives power to thee. Sempre caro mi fu questa regola. Can't see me. See. I believe to pick the world I have never seen before. Don't blink. Previa sereno intenso ad infinito. Stay low profile. I don't. Matilda? It's you? I'm sorry. I... I thought it was someone suspicious, so... Aww. 
Matilda, are you all right? Uh. Funito, come on, let's do Attack the monitor student in primary defense and disturb the peace in public. You! As your classmate used to be, I'm obliged to stop you from making a scene here and disturbing the patients. I'm... I'm here to give you my warning. Please wait. Ouch! Oh, isn't it the sonneteer and our outstanding graduate? I thought it was some acute mania patient getting out, waiting for my fancy transcranial magnetic stimulation therapy. Ah, oh, ça fait mal. Quoi? Sonneteer? How would I have anything to do with her? I'm Mathilda Boaniche, the top three students in school, the monitor assistant, and the speaker of graceful French. None shall forget my name after making the acquaintance of me. I didn't, but I guess no one will remember the third place. Go! Don't stand in my way! Matilda, please take... <sighs> she just ran away like that. There's even garbage dust on her hair. I didn't know she was the one following me. I shouldn't have acted in haste. Alright, get down to business. Sonetto. You are here visiting the Timekeeper, right? Follow me. Okay. A little bird told me you went to visit Virgin. Is that right? Yes. How is she doing? Just like the other patients. Unconscious. Artificial somnambulism therapy shall be good for her. It's been four years since she became the timekeeper. She surely needs a break. Yes, and I have no other opinion about this, Madam Vice President. I'm here for another issue. The proposal of additional manpower submitted by the House of Integratus. I have given it consideration. It's not worth a committee hearing. Are you here to talk about dead plans? Yes, because I have the exact opposite view. Verton's suitcase will not be affected by the storm, just like the buildings in our headquarters, which means she will soon be able to form a team, indirectly controlled by the Foundation. I suggest putting her in command of an independent autonomous unit with enough support, they should soon become another reliable force of the Foundation. And it also facilitates our relationship with Virton. The people Virton brought back with her, who are they? Arcanists, who have stable personalities, good command over their arcane skills, and some social experiences. If you ask me, they are some pitiful exiles who lost everything in the storm. So desperate, horrified, and overwhelmed, longing for something stable to hold on to. Virgin is not here. Only the Foundation can give them what they want. But what can they give us in return? The innate arbitrariness of Arcanists? Or questioning our beliefs of mankind's supremacy because they have nobler blood? <sighs> of course the Foundation needs new blood. Especially those who are highly obedient and know the importance of order. That's why these poor refugees need no independent unit or autonomy. They need the guidance of disciplines. A teaching more comprehensive than what's been given to those naive children in school. I see. What you want is a group of dumb puppets. I'm always the optimist in the room. And you know that, Miss Z. This won't be so much of a dead plan if one day they can prove they are not some dumb puppets. You 
calme maintenant. Dieu, mais je n'ai suivi personne. Je me promenais simplement dans le couloir, comme d'habitude. C'est elle qui était mal intentionnée. C'est elle qui m'a sauté dessus. Je devais avoir l'air misérable quand je m'en suis sortie. Je voulais juste lui dire que je lui ai lu dans la dernière divination. Les amis qu'ils ont amenés sont peut-être en danger. Mais je ne sais pas quand Verta sera de nouveau consciente. C'était plus ou moins une personne remarquable. Sans compter que c'est la responsable de son étang maintenant. Mais je ne sais pas si je dois être en colère ou triste pour ça. Son étau doit être terriblement inquiet pour elle. Si seulement je pouvais l'aider. Mais ça fait longtemps qu'on ne s'est pas vu. Ses cheveux ont poussé et sentent bon. <rire> ah Qu'est-ce que je viens de dire Boucle-la Tais-toi Tu es Mathilda, la personne qui va battre les meilleurs de la classe Scan. Ah Who are you Your skull has fallen. What are you timber chambering about? Are you a patient here? Where's your assigned care worker? I saw it. I saw it all. Bodies breaking down into pieces. I can't let your octahedron fall to the ground too. Be careful with your ears. Obliged to take you down. May the peace be with us. Look at my back. Fine. Who's hard? Wanna watch the aerial stunts? Shh. I hear something. Don't be so curious. A little trick. Hmm. It's all right. Whose heart is beating too loud? I hear something. Radio waves are everywhere. Right wind. Everywhere. Radio waves are everywhere. Everywhere. Uh. We should listen to what people say. Wanna watch the aerial stunts? Secrets always hide in careless words. Listen carefully. Right wind. Which matters more? Knowledge or... The storm took our friend from us. In fact, we all knew this would have happened, but... It took place too soon, caught us all off guard. And there were only clothes left. That's right. I've looked up the directory of Arcanus in the US in 1929. None of their family is on it. She was Greco's biological daughter. Schneider was a pseudonym. I haven't worked out the reason behind this, but she was indeed... A human who casts arcane skills. Thanks for sharing. It could help with my disease analysis.
Timekeeper has been diagnosed with type 2 trauma. Do you know what that means? I don't know much about psychology. It means she had suffered the same traumatic experience repeatedly. Even so, she showed no behavioral or cognitive impairment. Back then, as we held her down and put the helmet on her, she even advised me in an extremely calm manner. I agree with your judgment, but it's just for this time. She was the bellwether of the breakaway incident after all. I'll say she's been well behaved this time. I, I thought Timekeeper is receiving treatment for her low spirit, but you said you held her down. Oh, that's just another description of the method used for the same purpose. The aim was to ensure Verton was unconscious and taken back. That's the direct order from the Vice President of the Committee, Constantine. The order from on high was given on the premise of rational thinking and consideration over pros and cons. You are not questioning the reasoning of mankind, are you? I am not. Sharing the same set of values is the reason I'd like to share these interesting details with you. Of course, if you were a pure-blood human, I would appreciate you more. Verton's magnetic field always maintains a nuanced balance. She barely dreams proactively. So I have to deploy different dreams to search for the very first dream which reflects the source of her trauma. How much longer is this therapy going to take, in your view? However long it takes. As long as I receive a new order. So none of these have been applied for the Timekeeper's well-being. Yes. What's wrong with you, Sonetto? <sighs> I... I don't know. Sorry. I overreacted. I don't feel quite myself today. I can't tell what's wrong. Perhaps I ate something bad for breakfast. Go back and rest if you're feeling unwell. Don't be too hard on yourself. Thank you. Please, take good care of the Timekeeper. I'll be on my way. Interesting words. I hear something. Depict the world I have never seen before. I believe in you. Depict the world I have never seen Work before. Hard. It's beating so loud. So long lives this. And this gives power to thee. Each moment, now night. We should listen to what people say. Whatever. I believe Good you. But yet. Secrets always hide in careless words. Listen carefully. Swallow my exhaust. I know the moon, and this is an alien city. <laughs> Haven't you eaten? Here's some sword shop. Fine. Radio waves are everywhere. Lady Sereno intenso a Stay low profile. I don't want to.